Hello everybody, I'm Call Me Chris. And I'm Selena Spooky Boo. And welcome to our Highway to Hell series. In this series, we are driving to the most haunted locations. He's fine. Jay knows though. Jay knows it. When did you go to sleep? I took three Benadryls <laughs> and I thought I woke up from death. So I think I slept like seven hours though. It wasn't too bad. But you know when you wake up after you take like medication, you just feel groggy. I feel really groggy today. But we're gonna get some coffee. So I'm excited. Also, I need you guys to see Jay's shirt right now. Stick. Can't wait to go to Disney wearing it. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, what inspired this shirt? Oh, it's from the artist Alex Pardee. I actually, oh, I actually love that. I haven't tattooed on me. How did you guys sleep? I'm gonna stick to IHOP's breakfast next time. I might have loosely had diarrhea nine times last night. Nine Lettuce? Times? Yeah, nine times. He got, there was Were no toilet paper. Lava? We had to get oh, more yeah. toilet paper. Taylor, you sleep okay? I fell asleep around 10.30 and I woke up at 9. Who <laughs> <laughs> are you? He always sleeps so well, like a baby. Really? He's I so didn't, young. It was the best sleep I've ever had. But you know what? I squirted all the demons out of my body, so I'm ready to inherit some oh, more. Oh, goody. Goody, good. Let's get breakfast. Do you want candy, Chris? No, I don't want a candy, you, you, you dunch. Did you just call me a dumb, ugly, nasty c Like we get that whole building? Oh, yeah. Shit. When we got we got we got ghosts, we got demons. Yep. We got everything up on this. Well, this will be fun. <laughs> You're just so bad looking. Today we're in West Virginia at America's most haunted asylum. Located on 666 acres, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum has been home to the most gruesome and experimental practices, like lobotomies and waterboarding. There are four floors to this massive building, with each floor being more haunted than the next. As we travel farther, the more evil it gets. So welcome to the investigation of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. And what might be the scariest night of our lives. Let's do it. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum was built in 1864, based on the design of Thomas Kirkbride and is famously known as America's largest, most haunted location. It sits on 666 acres and has 13 buildings. Weird coincidence? I think not. The building was in operation until 1994 when it finally closed its doors, but its history and reputation live on. With over 20,000 people passing away on its land from malpractice, mistreatment, murder, suicide, and natural causes. A lot of people People who were committed to this hospital weren't even in need of treatment. There is also sightings of shadow figures, one with a top hat and a shadow figure called the Creeper. The fourth floor is the most haunted in the building. This ward is known as the Fear Factor Ward, and traveling alone in this part of the building would be someone's biggest nightmare. Gently! Oh my god, I don't know if I can be in here much longer. We are inside the asylum and we are here with our tour guides. Introduce yourself. I'm Brandy Butcher, I'm the paranormal event manager. And I'm Shelley Loudon, historic tour guide manager. And tonight they're gonna to be telling us the history and all the things that go bump in the night here. Let's get going, let's get rolling. I don't even know how to do that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go! Oh. Do it again? Uh, 
this pause right literally here. Literally just frozen. And my camera won't even turn off stop. or stop. I literally just Tell frozen. Tyler, stop. Seriously. So, oh my gosh, what? It's the the, the whole camera. camera. It's brand new and this. It's the building. Cut off the whole power. <laughs> they have wiped my SD card out before. Yeah, the okay, so uh, <laughs> a brand new camera just failed on us. Um, you said that this does happen often? Yeah, it okay. loves to mess with equipment, technology, drain batteries, um, okay. wipe SD cards, all kinds of fun stuff. That's we like haven't a... even started the tour. <laughs> yeah, and who, right. who's doing that, you think? Uh, it's just the building. Okay. It's, it's the building in general. Okay, so. cool. Yeah, <laughs> let's not do that, okay? We're trying <laughs> to show the people. <laughs> we want to share your life with the world. Yeah. Chill. But like, we love you, but like, okay. <laughs> let's nervous. get going. All right, let's get spooky. All right. She knows how to do a segue. So you're in Ward 1. That's the building crazy. was technically designed to hold um, about 250 patients was the overall concept of right, it. Right, right. They ended up with 24 to 2,600 patients in the building at That's one point. That's insane. So like lice, crabs, illness, everything just like spreads oh, super fast. Oh, like fast. Yeah, it's like a daycare. Dude, <laughs> don't have kids. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now this is where we start really getting into some of our paranormal activity and okay. encounters are over in this ward. Um, sure. We have a shadow figure that we see quite often right behind the lattice work that's at the end of this ward. We have also had guides that have had a gust of wind come out of this room right here and hear a heard a voice tell them to get out. Okay. I got the um, I got that that feeling of like getting like constricted as soon as we got there. And this I looked down the hallway, it was like like I was like I don't know. How do you feel in here? Oh, so far. The other rooms I was walking, I had some vibes. Yeah. Um, this room right here, this is Lily's room. It's a lot cooler here. Yeah, a lot cooler here. Lily. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Looks like my room as a kid. <laughs> Empty, full of sorrow. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> and as you can see, this is one of our more popular rooms. Um, right. We get a lot of activity in here. Yeah. Um, usually from a little girl um, that identifies as Lily. Yeah. She is believed to be eight or nine years old, has long dark hair, and is typically seen in a long white dress. So, let's see. This is the very first ward that tells patients. This is the women's ward. This is the oldest section of the building. Wow. The very first patients that were brought here were nine women. They were not alone. They didn't come, you know, they weren't just like, oh, here by themselves. Um, but they were the first ones on record. Okay. But this would have been the ward that they would have been in here. Um, okay. Honestly, they could have been put in here for absolutely any reason. I was going to say, what were they put in for? Just I see any the word reason. Um, <laughs> well, the also's you'll see dementia, and dementia do right. doesn't mean okay. what we know it as today. Right. That could be anything left of normal right. was considered you were demented or it's dementia. Right. Um, right. You'll see things like the war, because you have to think at this time, um, Civil War. Yes. We just had the Civil War, so a lot of women, even being homeless, if they lost their spouse or significant other in the war, then yeah. they had nowhere to go. Um, homelessness that wasn't normal. Yeah, and homelessness isn't normal. Mm -hmm. We'd be in here. They could be put in here for any reason. Reading too many books. Novel reading. Yeah, yeah. reading um, too many falling books. Falling off a horse, firefighting. Didn't like to clean. Um, just <laughs> being an independent so boss bitch. Mess. Laziness. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 we, we'd, we'd be, be locked, locked up. <laughs> Yeah. Thank God no. it's 2023. Yeah. We can all those things. We've been living in here. Um, yeah. That's awful. It's, yeah. it's just so, and it's, it's crazy to think that that was so soon. Like it was not that long ago. Right? No. That's terrifying. The fact that you even know where you're going, right? I have no idea where I am. I can feel it in my this bones. This place is huge. Oh, f I didn't even notice this. <gasps> Jesus. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Jesus. Where are they? Faces of the asylum. Oh, is that what it says? Grotesque. Oh. These faces were believed to work. Well, love that. Hang on. We gotta make these faces. Do one of them. I'm gonna do the one, the second one here. Okay. So I guess. Okay, I like that. I'll do the first one. That's good. That's good. Here. Yep. Oh yeah, let's look at what some of them did. I can't believe I found this. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Oh yeah, let's see. Married, supposed cause, domestic trouble, form, in, form of insanity, dementia. 37 though. Just cause she stood up against her husband. Yeah. Occupation, she was the housekeeper. She just lived at home. 
Virginia. Grief. <gasps> Dementia. Just be, she's 23, wait, 29? Yeah. 39, single, acute, acute mania, mania, whatever the f that means. Acute is small. Just a little bit of mania. She yeah. was just here for ill health. She was married. 29. Okay, 22, single, me melancholy. What? <gasps> Doesn't melancholy just like... It just means like... Sad. Just sad. Like it's just like an overly like sad emotion, basically. Dementia. Yeah, I would be curious what they're... Um, like what dementia meant to them. Well, the demented. I guess. Like insane. Just, That's what they, that but I mean, like, what would constitute that? I have no idea. So we are here in the woman's ward, and we have the Estes method. And a flashlight. Yeah. It's really interesting what we've learned here, and the fact that women were literally admitted for the most absolute ridiculous reasons. Like we saw on the on some pamphlets and stuff over here that they were admitted for being sad, um, yeah. fighting with their husband, reading books. What is that? I don't know. Anyways, the one thing that we've definitely um, discovered going through this whole building and learning what we've learned, uh, this would be our home. Yeah. <laughs> our yeah. casa. Yeah. <laughs> because it's Yeah, but I think that'll help us with, with reaching them, especially with the Estes and stuff. So yep. I hope everybody in here knows that we are here with full respect. Absolutely. And we would just love to know your story and just know more about you. We are going to be putting Chris under in the SS method, so any spirits that are here, she's gonna have a box and you are able to manipulate that box so you can give her words, phrases, and names and tell us your story because that is what we're curious of. Yeah, let's do it. Here we are on the woman's ward. We are doing the Estes method with Chris. Um, I feel like she's just getting stronger and better at this every time. I can hear you. Okay, cool. So we're already here. We also have the flashlight to any spirit that is here. You just have to tap it and it will turn on. Um, thank you for making your presence known. What is your name? Coming. You're coming? Okay. How many of you are there in this room? It's like Sally or seven. Okay, so there are currently seven of you on this ward. Do any of you have um, a name? Gabrielle. Okay. okay, is this a woman that we're speaking to right now? Or a man? What was life like living here? Did you spend your whole life here? 15. 15 years, maybe. Would you have considered yourself mentally ill when you actually came to live here? Chris looks sad right now. Are you giving her a memory of something that happened? I remember. What do you remember? Why you're here? Dying. Dying, okay. Did you die here in the hospital? What did you die of? Do you know? He did it. This is crazy. He did it. Okay, then we know there was a lot of murder here and stuff. Are you a man? So it sounded like it said me. Are you a man? Me. We're in the women's ward. I'd like to know a sign if you're a man or you're a woman. It makes sense if you're a woman who got killed by a man. The doctor, did you die under one of his malpractice, one of the things he did to you? My head. Did you have one of the failed lobotomies, one of the treatments that happened here? It's, it was like a really long, yeah. So they did things like lobotomies here, they did all these different things. Was it shock therapy? They shocked people here. Oh, I just, I got, um, there was like a, a crack and I got chills all up my, on my, on my left crack. side. Dean was also the one who got killed by the head injury by the other guys. My head, he got killed. With the Ow. Guys. Dean, is this you? Is this you? Oh, no. <laughs> no. But it was, it was, it was really loud. 
It's not Dean. Her head shock, shock therapy. People died here all the time. It's like, us. It's us, the women. What can you tell us to help us know who you are? Do you remember? You said Gabrielle before. We also have a flashlight right here. If you can touch it, you can turn it on. Just like that. Said so sad or mad? I, can, I don't know which one. There's the melancholy. Does it have a name? I don't think they have names on there. With you. I just want to reset this. Mad or sad with you. With you. If you're here with us, have you been with us for the whole entire thing? Help. Help? How can we help you? Have you, are you stuck inside this asylum? What year is Selena. it? Selena. Oh, shit. So clear, so clear. So it was a woman's voice. Selena. What do you want to tell me? I'm listening. Anything you want to say, the floor is yours. It sounded like it said we're like you. Okay, yep. Uh, we've definitely come to the fact of knowing that I would definitely belong here. What do you think is wrong with me? What would put me in here? Why were you in here? <laughs> it was just somebody saying crazy. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, yes. I wouldn't like go that far, but uh, I do feel you. So if, if, if you're like me and, and I'm like you, how do you feel right now? She just looked at me, but like turned her head. I... Are you trapped in this hospital? I'm here. Yeah. What year is it for you? Deserved. You think you deserve to be here? What did you do? No, no. No? Help. Help. How can we help you? It's year 2023, believe it or not. Sing. Sing? Right now. Oh, McDonald so clear. had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig. E-I-E-I-O, that pig went E-I-E-I-O. Do you like to say This way. This way? What way? I feel nervous in my tummy right now. Is that you? I feel kind of sick. Up. Up? Up. Up. What's your name? It Did sounded like Disney or Denise. Or another name, what the fuck? Is there anything, oh. You said I'm here to say hi, like a full sentence. Okay, well, hello. Hello. It's nice to meet you. We're here to oh, say hi. Oh, it sounded like it was like right here. Well, we're here to meet you. I'm Selena, and this is Chris, and this is Taylor, and this is Jay. Flashlight just turned on. Are you sitting right beside Chris right now? Did you hear that? Are you sitting beside Chris right now? She thinks you're to her side. Steps. Yeah, these, these are steps. They're like bleachers. Are you on them with us? Do you know the creeper? That, well, he's called- Attic. In the attic, the fourth floor. Do you have anything else you want to say to us before we go? I don't know. He sent me. He sent you. The creeper. To speak to us. You're good. Good? Sorry, good? I think so. Yeah. Okay. You were under for a long time. Mm. 
It was hot under there. You answered questions. Did I? Do any of you have um, a name? Gabrielle. I was like holding me so hard I couldn't hear a shit. That was something Wait, so, sorry. What's it your name? It was mostly women's voices, except for like, there was a couple where it was men's, I don't remember what I said. But what, there, there was, uh, the, when I when I like went over here, it literally said, it, it, you know, when you can hear, like, hear it beside you, and it's, it was like, hello, or it's, I can't remember what it said exactly. Yeah, the light went it on at like, the same time. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh God, that's so scary, because it sounded like, it sounded like somebody was right beside yeah, me. Yeah, and then we're like, are you right here beside Chris? It said steps, which this is like steps. <sighs> So what was crazy too is like, like where it's like, do you know the, do you know the creeper? And it's like attic, which is oh. the fourth floor, the top floor. Oh fuck. Yeah. So like you were answering things, which was insane. We weren't sure for a minute if we were talking to Dean because you said Dean. So then we weren't sure. Oh, was there a Dean? But it sounded like yeah. So Dean is the guy who had his head crushed. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Okay. okay, So, cool. so far, like, we've heard from Dean, we heard a woman who was either talking about Dean, who said that she died with something with her head, which we seemed to get it down to um, shock therapy. Yeah, and then I got chills. Like, it was just like, whew, like, all up the left side. That just turned on right when you did that. When I talked about the shock, right and now. then I got chills. Yeah. Maybe that's, wait. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was like, like electroshock. If you die by electroshock, can you turn the flashlight completely off? Is it off? I can't tell. Yep. Oh, whoa! I <laughs> said, yeah. Whoa. Why don't you ask? No, that's that. She's like, like we're... you're like, yeah. We're okay, good. Move no, on. I think they're active, dude. This place is so active. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let's move up to the second floor. Uh, was, uh, eating disorder. Yep. Yep. Anxiety. Yep. Yep. Panic disorder. Yep. Yep. Probably autistic. Yep. <laughs> 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 and that's all right. <laughs> this is a great, Isn't that amazing? this craftsmanship oh. is beautiful. It's a coffin style staircase. Oh, wow, okay. This is where the superintendents would have resided. They were allowed to live here. They served a term position, so they didn't have to. Um, so their families could actually come and visit because typically they probably wouldn't want to unless they built a house more locally. Mm -hmm. This would have been the more kind of formal meeting type of area. That was more of the kind of like an apartment style. This is similar to how it was the early, early years. The more okay. business end was on the other side where they had their offices, dining area, bookkeeping and kinds of things like that. We will often get reports of the phantom smell of cigar smoke mm. um, or pipe smoke, which is kind of a very distinct smell. Yeah, for sure. Um, we hear fireplace crackling every now and then, um, and you can hear furniture being moved around up here. Walk down <laughs> Ward 2. Ward 2. Oh, and there may be bats, or there are bats. <laughs> oh. I can't promise when or where. Um, yeah, that's fair. It, well, that's the bad thing about the camera lights. They will dive bomb the yeah, lights. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, this is definitely one of our more active areas on the second floor. This hallway is notorious for giving people strange feelings sometimes, like they're dizzy, feeling weak, maybe mm -hmm. even pass out. Mm -hmm. um, we have had a couple people um, kind of pass out in this area. Um, even so far as to be taken to the hospital oh. and then come back a couple hours later to like get their vehicle and all was fine. So um, definitely attribute that to the building because typically if it was something, you know, extremely medically serious, yeah. they would not have been released from the hospital that same night. Right. So um, this, this ward does sickness. have, yes, yeah. this ward has that um, intensity at times. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of the times you will hear or um, see someone out in the hallway if you're in one of the rooms. Yeah. So definitely um, this is a really active location. And then we have one room specifically down here that we refer to as the double suicide room. Right. There were two patients that were found in there deceased, um, both hanging by their bed sheets. Yeah. Um, it is believed that it was a double suicide because there was no history of these patients having any kind of you know, issues with each other or aggression. So we do believe it was a suicide pact, not a murder suicide. Uh, okay. But um, that room is, oh, sorry, <laughs> we just passed it. It's typically we get in both of these rooms here, okay. but this one right here is the one more notorious this for one? the activity. Batteries will drain rapidly fast. Um, equipment will malfunction. Definitely this is a place to use a lot of, um, keep your battery power backed up, um, have extra battery power in yeah. here. Because a lot of the time, if it does drain your equipment, it's building up for something. So right. you can usually expect something, yeah. you know, to happen, you know. Yeah. Whether it be... Was it two men? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and this would have been the juvenile male ward um, at one time, so. Okay. Juvenile, so young men. Um, 17 to... Was, was it 10 to 17? 10 to 17, that's what I was thinking about. 10 to 17 years wow. old for this ward. Wow. So they were young? Yes, yes. You and you know, a lot of patients believed that you know they were never going to get out of here. So the only way to you know get away was to take their own life. Right. So. Right. Because eleven to seventeen. Because ten. Infant to ten was on the other ward. That's right. That's right. So we don't know how old they were for sure. Just no. Do well, right. We don't have. That's something. Say, these patients, we don't know the age or anything. That's We're, something we can try to know. figure out. But yes, we can try to figure out more history yeah. about them. Get their story. No, like that's that's sad. Yeah. I think it's down here. I'm trying to see things that I remember. I just don't remember which one it is. Wasn't it before this? Um, no. I don't think so. Right? Was it this one? It was this one with that one. I remember? No, because it was bigger. We might be in the wrong. Shit, we might have to get the map. Like, this looks like what it was. Oh, yeah. But I'm not. Yeah, this is it. That was on the floor. <laughs> it's sick. I think they'll like that. These are young guys, you know? Excuse me. Sorry. Nothing to see here. Don't, 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 don't. <gasps> it's a toilet. Oh, there's, a big... there's shit in there for sure. <sighs> Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? there? Hopefully not a ghost. Hopefully not a ghost too. Boo. Thank you. So we are in the double slewer slide room where uh, two juvenile boys committed slewer slide. Yeah, so what we know is that they were under the age of 17. Mm -hmm. And what we wanna know is why and maybe even what their names are. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of this. So we're gonna be using the music box and the Alice box. Now this is really interesting. It uses AI and it is able to be manipulated to give us words and phrases. And if they walk past us, you'll hear music. So, let's get it going. <sighs> this, this is the room for me where like, I get a lot of pictures in my head, okay. which it feels like I'm having somebody else's memories and ideas and stuff. Okay. So I'm curious what's gonna come through this. Okay. But okay, spirits in this room. We have a music box right here. If you walk in front of it, Taylor, can you just like make your hand in front of that and make sure it's working? No, this, the music box. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought you were Sorry. Yeah. Okay. If you want to walk by back there, we'll be able to hear you and then this box you can use to actually speak to us. They just get wildly silent here. Mm hmm Yeah. So we'd really like to know who you guys were. If you want to tell us a name. Ready. What the f Oh my god, I- Oh my god, that was so intense. <laughs> that is the name that was Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Sorry, we didn't mean to get overexcited. That was just... Okay, Randy. It's nice to meet you. Thank you so much for talking to us. We just really want to know your story. Um, do you, why were you committed? Feel free to walk in front of the music box if you want to show us you're in the room with us. What is the chance of that? that I, not a lot. So how this works, it's literally any word in the world can pop up on here. Like it's manipulated by the environment. We know that Randy's here. Is there um, somebody else that was here? We heard that two people passed away in this room. Not only have I like never really heard a name from these house box. No. no, no, no. And for you to say what's your name, for it to be immediately, and immediately tell us. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> Danger. Danger. Okay, so were you in danger in here? Is that why you did what you did? Is that, what's, so what's going through your head right now? Because I know that you were saying you're having imagery. Well, like, is he telling us we're in danger? Maybe. But no, you did ask that question. 
is it danger? So that's the question. I said, why was he committed? And he said, danger. Oh my God. So maybe he was in danger? Tool. 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 A tool. He, did he use a tool to... Was it in danger by a tool? Maybe, maybe, maybe he did something with a tool to somebody to get him committed? Yeah, I guess, okay. So like, I have a question that I feel, yeah. I just want like change in my head. Yeah. And I don't know if it will give it to me, but I'm curious if you shared this room with a brother, like if it was, or someone you were related to. I just felt like in my head, it's an older brother, younger brother situation. Mm -hmm. Like probably like. Or even like, um, they could have been like really, really close. Brother-like? Brother-like. Rabbit. Rabbit. This is the other guy's name, Rabbit? Randy maybe, and Rabbit? I, immediately, I was like, maybe it was a nickname. Randy. Randy Rabbit. Rabbit. Uh, for some reason, I immediately you feel like that's nickname. it. Like you know how like a little brother. Trust your intuition. Yeah, but I mean you were saying that too. So, so we have Randy and Rabbit, or is Randy Rabbit? I think I think it might be like Randy and Rabbit. I like that sounds right. right? You know what I mean? And and I wonder. Okay. okay, so this is like falling into a bit of my story. Okay, you say you say your story. In my head, I really had that it was a brother situation. Like when it, when it played out in my head, it was like a movie, okay. and that's like. Back in the day, I used to have to focus, but now it's like I get bits and pieces. Yeah. And it was kind of like, they were here as if they were kind of sent here because, but it was like an incestual situation. But like, the woman came here. Pie. Cream pie, that makes sense. So. Pie. <laughs> Whoa! No. Damn! So, what I had is for some reason, they were here. Their mother, whoever birthed these people, were yeah. also is also here in the hospital. I think that exactly. her promise to them was that I would always get you guys out, but then she died here. And then they were here and they never thought they were going to be Did able to be leave, so they died. So do you think their aunt was here? Like, was that their... Somebody, I feel like it was the mother or an aunt, or like, it was someone who birthed them. Okay. So maybe one? Okay. I don't know, but that's, yeah. whoever birthed them maybe they, was maybe here. Maybe they born here, maybe? That's my thought. Okay. Like she came here and they spent their whole lives here. Okay. And if they were brothers, they could have shared a room. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But they said that there was lots of kids that were born here. Which, think about, there's no birth control. No. Like, you're pretty bored here. And what if you're born you here, you're not getting adopted. Moat. Moat. As in like a moat. Like they can't leave Like this unescapable. Place. Unescapable. That's was my thing. Like her yeah. promise was, I'd get like you guys are gonna leave here. Do you get that feeling? Though? Yeah. No, absolutely. As soon as I saw a Rabbit, I felt like there was just this like, like Wait. this brotherly bond, whether they are brothers or not. Like it was and just a big like, difference. Like the ones like the ones like sixteen, seventeen, and the other ones like seven younger. to ten. Yeah, really. Like, like a lot yeah. younger. Um, yeah. Did you guys just feel like you could never get out? Before, 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 before they did what they wind. did. Wind. Like before she, for me, it was like her promise the whole time was like, we'll, I will get you out of here. We'll get out of here. Maybe it was the end. I don't know. But somebody said that, but then somebody died and they felt like they were never, like that was the reason. Maybe like before, they, that was, yeah, maybe before they passed and then they caught wind of something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make sense of it. Otherwise, I don't know what wind would be, but. That's like an old saying, to catch wind of something. Yeah, to catch wind of something. Randy and Rabbit. Yeah. That really felt like that, and that's cool. We had that same thought we're like... Yeah, oh, yeah. Can guess. you guys tell us if you were related? How long were you here? That's all they can see from here. Yeah, that's, that's all, all you can see on that. Bathtub. Bathtub. Ooh. Ooh. That gave me like a weird yeah, feeling. Yeah, feeling. What did we just ask? I, I feel how long you're here. Like when you're on a ward like this, there's no cameras, there's no one to report to. Like we know bad things happened here. And as soon yeah. as I heard bathtub. I struck me out really gross. Scared. Well, when you do, well, yeah, like waterboarding and, and those kind of things, sometimes that would happen. 
in like a bathtub situation. Well, also they said like, like people came here and they weren't sick and they made them sick. Like were they born here but convinced them that they were insane by the time maybe, they left? Maybe. Or left yeah. Them? Were you tortured? Did you did you experience pain here? Or who yeah. created the pain? Was her talk like? Yeah. Gone. Gone. Like they're gone. They know they're dead. Yeah. Yeah. Are you trapped like here? Like the pain is gone because we just ask if they experience pain. That's what I felt like. I they found like, peace in death. Yeah. Like they were being put through so much pain. Oh my god. Attack. Like they got attacked. That's really sad. This is coming together, this is, this is very strange. I got chills. Um, the way we have that person died, there was no one left to protect them. Maybe. What's the woman's name? Are you able to give us a woman's name? Well. Was there a woman here? Was that the reason you had to leave? It's just the two of them. Maybe they're just explaining everything to us. Gone. Attack. Are you guys at peace now? Are you stuck in the hospital? Do people have your story right? Mm -hmm. I know when I see attack, I'm like... Cross. Cross. Device. Yes. <laughs> Cross device. Like, did they do something really like sadistic here? I know, that's here? really creepy. Um, Interesting. Cross. Like, like, they, they they, like I'm just thinking like, or, or somebody was cross with them, like in that term, and like then in that like, regard device like all the different things and treatments and stuff they did to them here yeah all right boys do you have anything else mm -hmm. that you would like to tell us randy and rabbit tina tina, tina. that's half my name <gasps> whoa Whoa! I'm covered. It's Andrew. Andrew. Sorry. Look at my face. Oh my Look. god. <laughs> We're covered. Um, it says Tina and then grandmother. That makes sense. A grandmother would have died. Also, my grandmother, great grandmother's name is Tina. Oh my god. Her name is Christina, but they always call her Tina. How weird is that? Okay, so we have a lot to unpack here. But I think, this... but I, I don't think it. I don't think it has to do with me. I think it's just a coincidence. So is that we the were question? asking about if there's a woman here, or like had anything to do with anything. Well, I said like, was it your mother? Was it yeah. like, your, who's her name? So was it, yeah. cause it makes sense. Like say they had a grandmother out there who's like, I'm gonna come get you. Sure. I'm gonna save you. But also you. women couldn't come get anybody. So they probably knew, like maybe she passed, but they like they said that only men would be able to get me. Maybe she didn't know that, right? Maybe. Basement. Basement. We not going there today. <laughs> um, I really wonder because I just feel like whoever was here birthed them. And then it would make sense if those children were birthed here, mm -hmm. that maybe their grandmother was like, I'm going to get you out and promise them this thing that she couldn't do. Yep. And then she died and that was all their hope was gone. Maybe. That's what, that maybe. makes sense. I don't know what basement would allude to, but I mean, maybe she did pass well, away in the basement. The if they were life. here a long time ago, the morgue would have been in the basement. Yeah, that's, tr that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Copy. 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 Like, you're yep. right. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's cr- Bail. Bail. We're supposed to go. Bail you oh. out. Bail, Bail you out. out. <gasps> this is crazy. This is insane. It's just crazy how it's right after like we're talking and then it answers right after. I, I'm so thank honored so that much. you guys are so responsive with us. Yeah, thank you so much for telling us your story. Do you have anything else that you want to say to us? We love hearing from you. Even if you can make like an auto. Diablo. Diablo. 
Um, Isn't that Satan? It's devil in Spanish. Maybe they were um, of Spanish descent. I really don't like that. So the last thing I, I asked for I, I, so I get really wary when like devil stuff and dark stuff because it might be somebody else coming right. through at the end. Randy and Rabbit, we're very thankful for speaking to you, but any other spirit in this room that is ill-intentioned or has any harmful feelings towards us, you are absolutely not too not available, allowed, or able to speak to us, interfere with us, become a part of us, or follow us. So thank you very much to Randy and Rabbit for sharing your story with us, but I think we will end that. Fit. Fit. Wow. They had fits here. <laughs> you fit, baby. Okay, yeah. but I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. let's cut it there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was incredible. That was insane. We was literally got their names, spoke to them, um, had my story like solidified and found out. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm very sorry, Rabbit and Randy, that things didn't work out the way you wanted them to. Yeah, we hope you're at peace. We really hope you're at peace. And thank you for all that information. Let's go. Let's go talk to Emily. If you think that was sad, we're gonna take you somewhere a little bit sadder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so down the rabbit hole. If you think that was sad, you wait, wait for this one. <laughs> Cause that's what you're here for. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you're really good at doing this backwards. Yeah, you are. I'm Ten really years. worried about her falling, but she's been killing it. Ten like, years. <laughs> As I fall. <laughs> we're, you know what we're doing here? We're that's literally separating. Um, this is the children's ward. Okay. So um, this is where the younger children would have been housed. And like I mentioned, Emily earlier, this is Emily's room right here. As you can oh, see, she's yes. very popular. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey. Oh, it's so small. Hi, Emily. Um, Emily hey. is a fan of ponies and princesses. Kind of, you know. Um, <laughs> Chris is a princess. Shut up. I <laughs> Kind of, you know, normal things for a little girl to, you know, be a fan of. So this room gets a lot of activity. They'll get the balloons to move back I and forth, even though there's balloons. no draft in here. Um, the balls will roll on the floor, things like that. So um, candy right. is a really good offering in here, but she especially loves to call her. So, oh. um, yeah, a lot of people will draw, leave her notes, things like uh, that. Okay. Um, she has claimed that her favorite color is green. So <gasps> you've got green color. shirt on. So you've got that's green my shirt favorite on. color. We have the same so, favorite color. So yeah, this is um, definitely, you know, I, I highly recommend this room okay. so that you can get out of Emily. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Because a lot of times people flock to Lily and poor little Emily gets, right. you know, kind of ignored. So oh, yeah, we'll definitely give we'll definitely give her some attention. Here she is. Hey. Hi. My... This is just kind of ominous, you know, just I just really don't like balloons. <laughs> That's my, uh, my well, I've been already moving. I have a fear of balloons and balloons popping. Dude, that's so fucking good. I mean, well, all I can do is a horn. <laughs> Whoa! Anyway. Everyone's facing people because they make like the craziest face. Yeah. Okay. We are in Emily's room. We are Emily. Nice to meet you. Yeah. We have first we have an offering for you, Emily. We got you this really nice new baby doll. She smells like baby powder. So we hope that if we give her to you, you will um play with us. Cause I brought this fun bear. It's yeah. my bear, but I'd like to share it just for a few minutes. And if you touch it, it'll light up on its hands or its face. And then also we have the ovulus. Yes. Or the oculus. One or the other. <laughs> It'll say you can answer yes or no for us when we ask you questions. All you have to do is tap it. Yeah. All right. I think you like it. It would be like a game. Tap yeah, game. I like it. I'll okay. put this down for her. Yeah. In her in her choice. I'll put it. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, that was just Are you here with us right now? Wait. 
What does she have to do? She just has to touch yeah, it, she right? she just have to... You just have to tap What the it. hell was that? That sounded like a chair moving. Did you hear that? She just have to... She just have to... She just have to... Was that you, Emily? Making that sound? Emily, are you here with us? If you don't like touching our toys, you can make a noise in the room. Show us one of your toys. Emily, oh, <laughs> we're gonna say right here. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's going on? Is it like malfunctioning? I have never said this before. No. Oh, she no. said no. Emily, are you here? Oh, yes. Okay. Are you tapping this like crazy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Did you figure it out? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you like this new toy? No. No. Oh, yes. yes. Is there more than one kid in here? Yes. yes. Okay. This is so weird. Yeah. We have so many technology issues tonight in general. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> Emily, are you here with us? Okay. Yes. Yes. Did you die here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, you can touch that bear. Yeah, if you yes. touch the bear, it'll light up for us. No. No. <laughs> you don't want to. Do you like the doll that we brought you? Yeah. Oh. That's good. We have a book for you. Do you want us to read Berenstein Bears Ghost? No. Oh. We'll just leave that for you to it's, read later. It's fine. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds cool. Good. Yes. Okay. She wow. I, I, this is so strange. I've never seen it do this before. <laughs> Feel free to make a noise also, if you can. Yes. Okay, well listen. Can you touch one of these balloons? Yes. Yes. She's saying yes. yes, yes. She's just excited. Do you want to, but you can't? Yes. yes. Do you see others? No. Are there others? Oh my gosh. No. She just wants to play with this. Yeah. Are there other spirits? Yes. I feel like everyone's been so ignored up here because everybody else investigates, yes, investigates, Um, what is it, Lily? Lily, yeah. In Lily's room and nobody investigates Emily's room or anybody up here as much. Do you feel like you don't get enough attention? Well, this is weird now that it stopped. Yeah. Are you happy that we're here? Whoa. It's like, she's like me and has like ADHD and got hyper-focused yeah, on she's talking like, to us. She's like, I gotta go, guys. Right now. She's like, bye. Do you see other spirits here? Is it just you here by yourself? Yeah. Oh. Can you leave the room? Like this room? Do you know who they call the creeper? I guess she said she was alone. Well, she might know who's upstairs. Yeah. She's alone on the floor. Do you know Lily? She's like, yeah, we got beef. Yeah, we got beef. Hey, no. We don't go. Hmm. I think she might be done with us. I think she is. <laughs> well, it's Emily. like a little kid when they're like, um, you're kind of boring. I'm going to breathe now. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> well, Emily, it was very nice to meet you. Thanks for really talking to us and then going. So. Yeah, that was very kid-like. <laughs> that was very kid-like. Yo, yo, yo. Peace. <laughs> All right. Bye, Emily. All right.
so interesting fun fact. Um, brand new camera. Uh, again. Again. This again is the second time in the night. And deleted the it footage. It deleted footage and it's froze, so I don't know. What's going on? What's going on? What's going and they on? say that this happens all the time, so. <laughs> it's called a norm. It. <laughs> yeah. I called it. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did call it. Oh, man. All right. Well. Ready to try and continue? Yes. Let's awesome. continue. I prefer this side myself, so that's where we're going to take you guys. God, be careful, Jay. The ghost of Jay. I mean, I can't see shit because the light. <laughs> we all just walk off. I love the oh, dripping yes, rust down nice. here. That's really oh gosh, nice. This one's got a weird vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh damn, dude. yeah. I'm I mean, dizzy. I told you I was gonna take Hell. you to the best spots. <laughs> I oh, I was like this. I was like this one again. I have like pins and needles in my hands. Mm -hmm. okay. This is definitely oh, known God. to be kind of an intense ward. <laughs> Um, one of the really neat things about this ward is it's the only one in the building where all of the doors are white. So it is phenomenal for seeing shadow figures because <laughs> the, uh, you know, you have that contrast with the white doors that allows you to kind of spot those shadow figures a little bit easier. Right. Um, there's one room in specific I want to point out to you guys and tell you a little bit about. This room right here. <laughs> she, she, she backs, backs up into, into every room. room. <laughs> oh! <laughs> If I hear that, I'm I shit want to go in my pants. Send me in there. Okay. Yeah, put her in there. So now that she's in there, this yeah. is closed. I'm going to tell you about this cage. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so we were doing tours one night, and one of our guides had went into this cage to deliver the information about this ward, about it being for criminally insane patients, and you know the descriptions, things like that. Yeah. While he was in here, his group noticed a dark mass kind of appear above his head he immediately tried to exit this cage and it would not open there is no this lock does not there is no way for me to let you in or keep you in there or let you out if this would stick um after a few moments the mask kind of just dissipated and the door just kind of popped right back open oh my for god you. oh my god um, sorry sorry i, I um, no I, you're 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 <laughs> I waited 10 years for someone to get locked in this room by the building. No, no, no. Wait, uh -huh. sorry. No, 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 no. Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Just wait, just wait. No, I told, no, no, no. So before all of this, we do dream journal stuff before this. You, and they can cut to it this morning. You literally described my dream. Hello, this is day one of dream journal. We are in West Virginia right now. Gonna go to the asylum tonight. Looking forward to it, but, um, Selena and I agreed that we, if we had any dreams during this trip, we would record them before we went to the place and we would not tell each other about them and see if they correlated in any way. Um, so right now it is Tuesday, September 5th, 10.22. I haven't seen Jay Taylor or Selena yet, uh, but I'll tell you guys about the dream that I had last night. Um, I was in this really small confined room. It felt like almost like a closet. It was really dark and I had a flashlight and I don't know why, but I was turning it on and off really slowly, like tch, 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 tch. and I, I could see in front of me and it was just nothing. Uh, it was like dark and nothing and then light and nothing and then dark and nothing and then light and nothing. Today we're in West Virginia at America's most haunted asylum. I was in this really small confined room it felt like almost like a closet. Are you the one I feel creepy? Am I gonna be safe here in the hallway alone? Are you right there? <gasps> okay, if you want me to show you my boobs, do that again. <gasps> I just felt somebody breathe right on my face. <gasps> Where are you? I'm done. To be honest, I'm being a little right now and I'm a little scared. 